वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई एम ए मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर विद अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ पावर प्लांट एंड आई यूज टू क्रिएट स्मॉल फंडामेंटल नॉलेज सीरीज वीडियोस फॉर पावर प्लांट इंजीनियर्स वी आल्सो रन डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशंस ऑन वीकेंड्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच एस यू कैन रीच एस थ्रू कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ज्वाइन आवर वीकेंड क्लासेस let us continue to watch our today's video so we are trying to understand uh, how a air cooled condenser works or why a air cooled condenser is being used in some places so uh, in today's uh, situation there are Uh, water related scarcity or environment environment related pressures are there where you have to be more sustainable in ways and means how you generate your power so now there is a more thrust on uh, to minimize the water uses per megawatt of power generation where you can use this kind of uh, air cooled condenser where your water uses are getting lower how getting lower if let's say we compare with a uh, induced trough cooling tower or uh, you know or uh, ndct uh, these type of cooling towers so there there are uh, you know you you have your steam going in the water cooled condenser and then there is a uh you know uh, that water cooling water goes to cooling tower and then you have a recirculation so all those steam side uh, or dm water side there is now uh, such change in water consumption because that's a closed cycle but on the cooling water cycle you will have a lot of uh, losses in your uh, either type of cooling water whether it is a natural draft uh, cooling tower or uh, it may be a induced draft cooling tower or other kinds as well because there will be a lot of evaporation losses there to minimize those losses if you don't use water to uh, condense your steam which is coming from turbine exhaust then you can reduce your water consumption in that cycle and that is where the air cooled condenser comes into play and uh, as the name suggests uh, this cooling uh, tower is used in a place where you don't have uh, much of the water availability then you uh, can utilize this kind of uh, air cooled condenser and to make it effective the air should be of lower temperature so it is not like that uh, if uh, the air is uh, let's say in uh, indian climatic condition you may find some of the air cooled condenser in the places like rajasthan where there is a uh, relatively high temperature but there is a scarcity of water but you will find some of the air cooled uh, condenser in canada or europe also where Uh, there are environmental pressures to reduce the water consumption or you have uh, uh, places where the water uh, is not available and the air is pretty cold so there you also uh, you can utilize this kind of cooling tower and now how it works the working principle is very simple you know uh, there will be a, uh, here here uh, this uh, example which i have taken is a kind of canopy type structure or hut type structure where uh, you have uh, steam coming in from the top area uh, that is a inlet uh, to the condenser uh, from your uh, turbine exhaust and then you have a finned tubes uh, if you see there are finned tubes finned means there will be a passage available and on their tubes there will be fins to increase the surface area so that it can uh, it can exchange heat from the atmosphere which is around those tubes and definitely uh, the ambient condition would be lower than the steam temperature so definitely there will be heat exchange and then steam which is coming out from turbine will uh, dissipate the heat and convert into water 
and for that there will be uh, these type of uh, what we can call uh, induced uh, draft fan where it can suck the air from bottom and push the air out from these fins smaller fins uh, will be there from that fins the air will come out so uh, we cannot see the fins here in this image but in the next slide i will show you so then there are spaces between these tubes and from there that air may go out and then ultimately you can have a heat exchange between the steam and the ambient air and normally these fans are VFD controlled fans so that you can increase or decrease the quantity of air passing through according to the load of the turbine so very basic principle uh, there is no water like you use in cooling tower uh, and then uh, it reduces your uh, water consumption and then how water is getting cooled with the help of air here you will have a uh, I mean capacity wise uh, you cannot make uh, uh, I mean uh, as, uh, small as you have your water based uh, cooling towers but uh, in a colder place this may give you uh, the required output so we were talking about uh, how the finned uh, tubes are helping or how is the construction of these uh, tubes where the water uh, steam is getting condensed into the water so if you can see these uh, tubes uh, are uh, laid in this uh, way so uh, and uh, there are a lot of fins fins are these these a uh, smaller thickness plates are there which are welded across the uh, these uh, uh, tubes where your steam will flow uh, from the top side steam will flow and then there should be some condensation which will go on the bottom like this here to, from top to bottom and then there will be uh, these fins between these tubes so that air can pass through uh, in between these tubes and you know uh, you have a heat transfer between air and uh, uh, steam which is inside the tube so this is how the construction of uh, tubes uh, are there in this uh, air cooled condenser hope you have uh, uh, got a view and try to understand what the construction and basic details of uh, this air cooled condenser I made this video because I got a few questions from uh, my viewers that how air cooled condenser works and if you have any question you please uh, may ask in the comment section we will try to respond as uh, soon as possible thank you for watching uh, power plant guru thank you very much